Hello guys and welcome back to Model Reviews here on my channel. Uh, this edition we have the latest IXO Models uh, model uh, for the Atlas Editions World of Stobart collection. Uh, this one is the Scanny DC-13 Anglo Loco uh, fire engine named Lee Millie. It's LSA 047 for its fleet number and is a replica of the uh, Zap truck that featured in Trucks and Trailers the TV show. Uh, quality wise like all the other IXOs for this series is very poor but it's nice to have a model of this because there isn't one currently out on the market but I presume Atlas Editions will get there eventually with it. So Traditions. I mean Oxford of course so on the front then we've got your detailing of some light bars up there and you've got your some visor with lights on it we've got Scania then underneath uh, Angloco I think that's how you spell it how you pronounce it I'm not sure on the front uh, you do have to forgive me on this one I'm not very good with fire engines I presume there's some sort of squirty gun it sticks out on the front uh, it's in all over red with the white squares for airports. Uh, we've got two dot lot. It's like I presume they call this a twin cab. Forget, um, forgive me if I'm wrong. I, I don't know too much about fire engines. So further down, we've got a uh, detail of locker, and there's another locker there. Um, we've got some more of the square rectangly things there. And then it says London South End Airport. And at the top corner, Eddie Stobart. I wonder if that's been changed to Stobart Group though by now. The wheels are quite chunky on this. To say it's a 176 scale model. And on the back, we've got a detailing of a ladder up to the roof. We've got another detailing of a shutter, and then we've got red and white stripes. We've got under goes underneath quite a lot there with a lot of gap. I presume that's how the real one is. I can't quite remember from the TV show. It's a PO12 registration, like all the biomass and all that tr them trucks were. So it's from the same area. On this side, it's basically like a mirror image of the other side. And then we've got something there, I presume that's like um fuel cap or something that stabilises it, I'm not too sure. So onto the roof, you've got a detail of a light, quite cheap light, bit bit like a, um, a paper clip with something stuck on the end. A detail of uh, ladders, there's a... Um, whatever that is there and we've got detailing of all the pipes that lead up to where this water cannon is here on the very roof it's a shame that doesn't swivel around it's sort of just pointed in one direction still very nice to have this as a model though even though it is a bit on the cheap side they have sort of a cheap imitation of rubber on the wheels is a rubbery plastic rather than like most ones now. And in the world of Stobart, so now is only just four more to go in the series. Unless they decide to add more, of course, but I doubt, highly doubt it. But if they do, I'm stopping after the next four. Unless it's a model that really intrigues me. So on the back of this certificate, this is number 16 in the collection, which is the last one, because there's only 16 originally. Because like the other series that they did, they're not giving them out in order. Which is a bit pointless, if you ask me. You're making an order for them, and then they don't give them in order. You can pick this up from Atlas Editions only, as part of the collection, at £20 a month. Or, get yourself over to eBay, and prices start from £20 upwards in auctions, um, like I did. Unfortunately, unfortunately, yes, it did cost a bit more than getting it from Atlas Editions, but I will not be using that company 
again direct but thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time here on the channel until then enjoy yourselves bye